Right, I want to talk to you about this um, tool for the um, air arms rifles. Um, it'll fit the S400, S410, um, S510, S310, um, the EV2, the uh, Ultimate Sporter, pretty much most of the um, air arms rifles. Uh, it'll probably fit the FTP900 as well. Um, it's made out of aluminium, um, which is nice because it is, there's less chance of it damaging the finish on your rifle. Um, it's got high tensile bolts, which um, as the name implies are high tensile. Um, and I've put brass washers in, which I know are overkill, but it's just a bit less friction for when you're tightening up the bolts. Um, it's been made very close to the size of the cylinder to make sure that it's a nice, decent fit. and. Um, that you know it works as best as it can. Um, because of that, you may find that on some rifles the um, the ends are slightly bigger than the cylinder. Um, the way around that is get a flat screwdriver and just whack it into the uh, obviously loosen these up a bit uh, and then whack a screwdriver in. You'll notice that it opens up a bit more, um, and then you should be able to then slide it on. Just take it easy. Take your time. It can be tight, but should go on. I will say, make sure your rifle's empty before you attempt any of this, because obviously you don't want to be trying to unscrew the ends of a full cylinder. It's dangerous, and it would be almost impossible because the um, pressure would lock the threads. Right, there we go. Pull the screwdriver out. And before I've even tightened it up, it's uh, it's already got a bit of, it's a bit tight. You'll notice there's a bit of um, aluminium there. That's not a problem. I'll show you when I'm done. And then I, I would recommend tightening this over an end. So either on this end or on this end so that you've got the support of the um, the the end inside the cylinder, so that you don't crush the cylinder. Because although it looks like a puny little tool, it it's got some serious serious force involved. And, and tighten these up. It's a five millimeter Allen key. Tighten one a bit, then do the next one. Tighten that a bit, then do the next one, and just keep going backwards and forwards until. It's really tight. Um, ideally you want this to be very tight because you don't want this slipping on here when you're trying to undo the ends because then that could possibly damage the finish. Um, so just go until you're happy it's tight. There you go. And then you can then go about, you can either clamp this in a vise because obviously it's square um, or you could put in a workmate or some other thing um, and then you can go and undo this end um, and the same can be done the other way you could um, put this on here and then use um, the other tool that I sell for the air arms um, that'll fit into here um, to undo this end while you're holding this end in a, in a vise or, or something else um, Obviously, don't try and undo this end while this is here. You want it to be on the other end because if this is here, it's obviously squeezing the threads. You'll probably never get it undone and you'll probably damage something. So, um, obviously, put this the opposite end to the end you want to work on. Um, you could also use this clamped in something as it is now if you wanted to service the, um, the fill valve because then you can, while it's clamped, you can then get that loose and tightened up. Um, so there we go, both these tools are available from my eShop on my website. Um, the link's in the description. Um, yeah, good luck.